Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning, we're going to talk about why you have no peace. So let's jump right into it. So jumping right into this theme on care, I left off with a question in the last episode. That was to write down a number from one to 10 on how you're doing overall. If you have not done so already, please do write down that number. Uh, and today we are going to explore this further in figuring out where you are and how this may be affecting your personal finances. So what I would look at real quickly is looking at, you know, one being terrible, you're not doing well, you've had a you know tragedy, a layoff or something like that that has affected you deeply. Uh, 10 being that you are uh, on a mountain peak, you are doing extremely well, you're really happy, so on and so forth. So figuring out uh, in between there, one to 10, figuring out where you are from a starting point, and then we can proceed from that point. So years ago, a mentor of mine, when we were meeting at a Starbucks, asked me how I was doing. Now, my typical response was, oh, yeah, I'm doing well, doing good, uh, and probably was that day as well. Now, knowing that he would have uh, clarifying questions to get a better idea of where I was actually doing, you know, where I was at, what, how I was doing, uh, he asked a question in a different way. He asked that very question and in a, in a way that he broke it down by categories. So he said, let's go category by category and you place a number from one to 10 in each category. So he started by saying, we're going to look at five P's that, that touch all the basis for how you're doing overall. Now, the first one was purpose. Now from one to 10, how clear is your purpose? And are you actually living out your purpose? So you asked me that question and I'm asking you that question today. This would be the vision you have for your life and how you are carrying out your God-given strengths and abilities uh, in, in fulfilling your greater purpose. So looking at that, uh, you, you should be able to get an identifier. You should be able to get an idea very quickly on whether you are not fulfilling at all that purpose as a one, or you are fully, you know, you know, fulfilling that purpose as a 10. Now, the second P was your physical place. Now from one to 10, how is your physical place? And are you living where you want to live? Now, this would be uh, the place in the home or apartment that you live in. This could also be the area of the city that you live in, uh, but it all points to your overall enjoyment of the place that you reside. One, of course, being that you are not in the physical location that you want to be in in this season of life, and 10 being uh, that there's no other place you'd rather be, that you're in paradise. Now, P number three came down to provision. Now, from one to 10, how about your provision of your, your financial position? How are you doing financially? How secure is your job or your business? Are you able to buy those things you need? Meanwhile, save for those things that you really want. Now, one being that you're not able to cover your basic bills, your liabilities or your living expenses. And 10, moving all the way up to 10, being that you have all you need to cover both what you need as well as your wants. Now, P number four is your physical health. From one to 10, how is your physical health? Looking not only at your physique, but also the aspects like your blood pressure, your weight, and other aspects of your overall health. Now, one being not at all where you want to be. Maybe you are struggling with multiple aspects of your diet or exercise, or maybe you have an autoimmune disease. Uh, leading all the way up to 10, being that you are in peak performance, that um, you, you wouldn't change a thing. Now, lastly, P number five is where you're at relationally. This has to do with people. So looking at, you know, from one to 10, how are you doing people wise? How are you doing with your relationships with your family and your friends? Are they, are they healthy? Do you have enough people in your corner with proper counsel? And are you giving back by developing others? Now, one being that you do not have uh, the right people in your corner, or maybe not enough people in your corner, you don't have the right relationships or maybe healthy relationships. 
And then 10 being that you have the right relationships and the right number of relationships. Uh, and, and those relationships are healthy and thriving. Now, what I would encourage you to do is add up the number for each of those five categories and divide that by 50. This will give you a percentage. Now mine at the time, I remember it, uh, cause this was the first time I had ever done this, but mine at the time was in the high sixties, which being a lifelong student and, um, and, and enjoying numbers meant that I was actually failing. Now they say C's get degrees and well, I did not have a passing grade in life at this point, at least as you know, associated to this, um, you know, indicator. And so the great part about this quick evaluation is that it provides you with an indicator uh, of what areas specifically need attention or help, uh, which areas you are not caring well for yourself in so that you can then have a target to focus on. Now, I have found this little test um, has been really helpful in relationships in uh, in, in the relationships in my life, in improving both accountability and care for myself as well as for others, and, and being able to identify those areas and those aspects that need help quickly. Now, my call to action day is to take the number that you received and share the test with someone you care about. Maybe a spouse, maybe a mentor or a best friend. This transparency will help break the ice per se and, and help to better deepen that relationship. And maybe it'll help you to have conversations that were hard to start otherwise. If this information is helpful to you, please do like subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're reminded to come back on a daily basis and improve in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.